In the general anesthesia video, I discuss how anesthesiologists study who you are to determine your anesthesia risks and the best anesthesia plan for your surgery. In this video, I will discuss how we determine the right amount of medication to give you, how medications travel through your body after it is pushed in the IV, and lastly, I'll share a few words on medication allergies. The majority of the medications you receive are given to you based on your weight in kilograms, also known as your total body weight. You can get this by dividing your weight in pounds by 2.2. With your weight in kilograms, we can then use your sex and height to calculate other types of your weight, which help us give you a more precise amount of certain medications. For example, we can use your adjusted body weight to give you the right dose of some sedatives like Atomidate and Propofol, and painkillers like fentanyl. And then we can use your ideal body weight for longer lasting pain medication like morphine and hydromorphone. Overall, giving you medications before, during, and after surgery is a calculated encounter, but understand that not all medications are given to you based on your weight. Please keep in mind that almost all of these medications are given to you through your IV on the day of your surgery. Now, your IV rests inside of a vein, usually on the hand or arm, and after it is flushed, the IV is connected to a bag of fluid. The fluid drips in through the tubing to push the medications we give you into your vein and then bloodstream. You can imagine that if nothing drips in to the IV tubing, the medication just sits in the tubing and it's like you did not get anything. So the fluid pushes the medication into the vein and into your bloodstream. Your bloodstream then carries it to your heart, which then pumps the medication out to the rest of your body like your brain, liver, and kidneys. It is pretty cool. A calculated amount of medication gets carried in, circulates, and has its effects. Most medications will then get eliminated by the liver and kidneys. Let me point out that we avoid anything that may cause you to have an allergic reaction. However, a reaction to a medication you have never received before can still happen. If an allergic reaction does occur, trust that you are in the right environment to have it treated. We always cater our approach to your medical history and limitations, all the way from simple sedation to regional anesthesia and general anesthesia. Some of the medications we have access to are more gentle on major organs. So if you have a weak heart, liver or kidneys, for example, we use those medications so that you are sedated in a safe, and controlled manner. Thank you for listening to this video. I hope that it was educational. Please leave a comment, question, or concern. Like and share it where you find it appropriate.